taxes on the rich back in the 1950s when they were 92%. The top marginal income tax rate was 92%. All right, this is absolutely correct. But it turns out that the average person who was subject to that tax back in 1950 was actually paying 50%. All right, now how do you rectify that? What's going on is the top marginal income tax rate is the tax rate that kicks in once you pass a certain level of income. All right? So here I am, I'm a rich guy back in the 1950s. So on January 1st, between midnight and midnight and 15 seconds, I earn 10 bucks. And that 10 bucks is taxed at basically zero because from the government's perspective, I'm a guy that earn, earned 10 bucks, I'm not a rich guy. So time goes on, I earn 100 bucks, I earn 1,000 bucks, I earn 5,000 bucks. Now according to the government, I'm a low income person. So that 5,000 and first dollar I get is gonna be taxed at a low income person rate. It's not until about February, March, April, where my income rises now, total income, to a significant amount, that now the 92% tax kicks in. So the 92% tax is a marginal tax. It only applies to dollars I earn that are above some limit. All right, what does that mean? It means at the end of the year, when you figure out how much taxes did you pay Davies, well, on that last dollar I earned, I paid 92%. But on those early dollars I earned, I was paying a much lower tax. If you put the whole thing together and average it out, on average, how much tax are you paying? And back in the 1950s, someone in the top 1% was paying on average about 50%. So, you want to tax these guys, did you say 75%? You want to tax these guys at 75%. Understand that that is unprecedented. Never have we ever taxed the top 1% anywhere close to that. That's 50% more than we taxed them back in the 1950s when the top rate was 92%.